Luigi Del Puerto from Colorado Politics has our next question. Thank you, Kyle. The fentanyl crisis is spiraling out of control, <clears throat> and this pernicious poison is killing our children. In the last year, some 73,000 people have died from synthetic opioid-related overdoses in the United States, according to the CDC. And one study found that in 2021, fentanyl was identified in nearly 80% of adolescent overdose deaths. In Colorado, 462 people have died from January to August of this year alone. One of the children who died is Josiah Joe Velasquez. He was only 15 years old. His mother, Christina, said if she could exchange her life for his, she would do it in a heartbeat. Mr. Bennett, if Joe's mother were here tonight to ask you, what concrete steps would you take if returned to Congress so that no other mother would have to lose first her son? Of all, first of all, I'd say how devastated I know she must be and there are families all over Colorado who have suffered the way Josiah's family is suffering and we all know people that have suffered uh, as a result of this poison, as you call it, and it is poison. Uh, I think what we have to uh, push back much harder on China to prevent China from sending these precursor chemicals to Mexico. We have to push much harder on Mexico to make sure that they will actually do something about the gangs in northeastern Mexico that are producing this, this, um, this, this poison. We, sh we need to make sure that we strengthen our border and support law enforcement. And it's very important for us as well to have, for, for people, not, I'm not talking about Josiah, who's 15 years old, I don't know his circumstances, but for people that are afflicted by opioid addictions in this state, we need to make sure that they have the chance as they're going through the criminal justice system to get better, to get well. We're not doing that well as a country right now. Mr. O'Day, the same question, sir. Well. Michael Bennett's been in the Senate for 13 years and had every opportunity to secure this border. It's still not secure. When I talk to the cops up here, Chief Pazin, Sheriff Schrader with Jefferson County, they're doing all they can for fentanyl overdose here in, in town. They need help with securing the border. When I went down there this last week, they're asking for a wall. You know why? Because they're exhausted. They want us to close and secure this border. That's where the fentanyl is coming from. It's coming straight up I-25. They want the barrier so that they can drive people through the, the access points. This has got to get solved. My first bill that I will run will be directed at securing this border, giving the DACA kids their just so they have citizenship, and reinvigorating our immigration system. We need to revamp the entire system. It doesn't work. Got guys that have been working here five years, they can't get through our system. It's got to stop. Yeah. Mr. Bennett, go ahead, sir. Yeah, thanks, Luigi. Look, he says I've had every opportunity to secure the border in the time that I've been in the Senate. In 2013, we wrote and passed a bill called the Gang of Eight Bill. I was one of the four Democrats who wrote that bill. And it had $40 billion of border security in it. But it wasn't Trump's medieval wall that Joe has supported so strongly in this campaign and when he voted for Donald Trump twice and when Donald Trump was running for president saying Mex Mexicans are rapists, making it impossible for us to get anything done on immigration and we've got to fix it. And the Gang of Eight bill which passed with 68 votes in the Senate is still our best chance to do it and it's one of the reasons that you know I desperately want to go back. I didn't vote for a president who made it impossible for us to get anything done in immigration. Joe O'Day voted for that president twice. Mr. O'Day, just really quickly, you, do you want to respond, sir? A lot of talking. We're hearing a lot of talking. You've been doing talking for 13 years, and that you haven't got it done. Michael Bennett doesn't deliver results. What he does is vote with Joe Biden 98% of the time, and the result is an economy that's trashed. We've got a border that's still wide open. It hasn't been solved. You know what's medieval? What's medieval is allowing fentanyl to kill our kids. That's medieval.